everyone! In this video, I'm going to unbox a package that I got from Fragrant Jewels. So, I kind of forgot what I bought exactly. I buy a bunch of stuff from Fragrant Jewels. I think per month, I average... Well, actually, I only average three packages. And, yeah. I don't know. I, I cut down on my spending, but... They're a really cool company. I mentioned it a couple of times on my channel, so you should definitely check them out. I'm gonna post a link to their website on the description of this video, so you can have access to their products. So if you don't know, Fragrant Jewels specializes in kind of like bath or spa related products. Basically bath bombs, candles, and even sometimes body scrubs. And their products are unique because they do have special rings or necklaces. And most recently they've had earrings hidden inside their products. And also I haven't mentioned before in any of my videos, but with those rings or accessories, they also come with a code to allow you a chance at winning rings that value at 100 a thousand and ten thousand so it's pretty cool the whole reason why i get three packages is because i'm also in this like membership format of it it's called fragrant jewels inner circle and you basically get a set um for 32.95 with free shipping per month and then the rest of the purchases were really up to me if i wanted to try out something new especially since it's the holiday season or closing in on the holiday season they start busting out specialized products such as like fall um since halloween's coming up they had a lot of halloween related products so okay i kind of remember what i ordered now so in this box i bought some of their um, fall related items so this one is a falling leaves bath bomb and they have all these cute new packaging so this is brand new for them. Basically when they usually shipped out sets of bath bombs or even sets of just like candles and bath bombs, it would just be wrapped in this like plastic cling wrap. But now they're actually starting to package the bath bombs individually. And I guess I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not going to dedicate my channel into actually like showing you how they, how they fizz up in the bathtub because I live with my parents and my bathtub looks really awful and yeah no <laughs> I'm not gonna do any demonstrations but um, this is a bath bomb so it is fall colored again falling leaves so I the colors on the box are actually the colors that are kind of on this bath bomb I'm very bad with scent tones but this smells like if you go into a candle shop and you smell something that's like autumn or fall scented it smells like leaves obviously obviously because it's falling leaves um but yeah it's really really nice and um particularly for their fall collection this is brand new too that they're actually coming out with collections for these fall items so i really invested in i think two of these bath bombs for fall falling leaves because the bands of their rings are um they have leaves on them so that's why i really want that collection in comparison to the other two that i'm going to talk more about um once i get into opening those products so yeah here is a bath bomb i wish there was like smell of vision or something because it smells really really good and yeah i would read off some of the ingredients but I wish I had the scent tones. I don't, I, I didn't really prepare too much for this video. It's just like randomly opening um, products that I get from Fragrant Jewels. I'm still trying to figure out a format for these kind of videos because I think I've only done two or three officially on my, on my, um, on my page so far. But yeah, sorry. I was about to slice this open before revealing what it was. So this one's Spice Apple. This is also a bath bomb. Again, cute packaging. It is more of the pinkish orange, um, orangey color. And obviously it's going to smell like spice apples. I could be wrong though. Some of their scent tones could be a hit or miss. Um, I think there was only one or two products that I didn't like the scent of just because it was too strong or it smelled too, uh, masculine, but don't be afraid to use these items because I actually, um, have my boyfriend try these items too and he loves them. 
being able to relax and and enjoy some like self time. So yeah, I really love the packaging. It helps to keep the bath bombs intact because like I said, they didn't really package them in boxes, like individual boxes for the bath bombs. So they would be like in this like plastic and sometimes when they ship them out, it would get a little bit shattered or break because of there was no extra cushion. I mean, they, they would wrap them in bubble wrap, but there's only so much they can do to protect their products because the post office is terrible sometimes because they toss the packages so they come crack. But yeah, this definitely smells like spice apple. And this bath bomb is pure red. Um, I forgot the color of the rings for this one. I want to assume that it was red. It was... Oh, okay. So... In comparison to one of their old sets before, it was called Magic and Mischief. And they came out with these um, kind of rose gold, I want to say it's rose gold bands. And they had like red center stones. So they kind of based off this collection on that. So I'm really excited because I traded off one of those rings from that old collection before, but it wasn't the style that I wanted. But there were a couple from these collections that I really liked, so I like taking a chance. I'm also part of different fragrance jewels trading groups as well. So if I don't like a ring, I can chance it at having um, the opportunity to trade with someone else that doesn't like a certain ring. And hopefully it's the ring that I want and we do an even trade. So that's always fun. And then, yeah, Fragrant Jewels does, like, a great job with packaging their items. Um, because we're part, I'm part of um, their Fragrant Jewels Inner Circle page, too, specifically for their members. And we um, bring up our concerns, we bring up kind of like our feedback, and we bring up suggestions. And we're able to have our voice be heard, thanks to one of the admins of the page, who is Erin. Um, but yeah, so here is the other falling leaves bath bomb. I'm not going to open up the packaging. I'm going to give this to my boyfriend. I, I like buying extras of certain things so he can try too. But I'm I'm cutting off on how much I spent on fragrant jewels because I've been investing more on Funko Pops lately. And then here is another bath bomb. I don't... Actually, this might be the one where it looks like magic and mischief, where their rings are rose gold with orange center. Yeah, I don't know. Just go on the website. I'm going to link it down below because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm terribly unprepared and like my laptop's over there on my desk and I'm really too lazy to grab stuff because my room is still under construction in a sense of I'm trying to rearrange stuff and it's hard to reach certain things because I have like little bags and boxes here and there and stuff because I do yeah with all these like ring trades and even like selling certain rings too I have a bunch of packing supplies that are scattered around my room so it prevents me from reaching other places and I get lazy reaching out for them so yeah oh and yeah I don't I don't remember I don't remember what <laughs> that product is it's all part of their fall collection Again, I'm going to link it down in the description. And I honestly don't know what this scent tone is. Like, it's very faint. And no, it does not smell like pumpkin spice. So you're going to have to trust me and just um, go through the link in order to find more information about these products. So here um, is the last bath bomb from that whole fall collection with the fancy boxes. So this one is called Warm and Cozy. And I think this one was the one with the gold bands with the brown center stones. So that's pretty cool because they never had like that chocolatey, chocolate, chocolate colored um, stones before in their rings or they don't have too many of them. And since a lot of the girls were asking for these kind of rings, they actually listened. So that's pretty cool. And I want to say that these are actually... Yeah, these are all scents that they had brought out before. Like, these are specifically for the fall. So, these aren't, like, nothing new to us that are avid um, buyers. But, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it does smell kind of related to how Warm and Cozy smells before. I only had Warm and Cozy once. I think it's a candle or something. But, yeah. It smells good. 
So yeah, look on their website. They have the scent tones. They have more descriptions of the products. They will show what kind of rings come in those products. Rings range in value from like $10 to $45, depending on the different set, depending on um, what is released and the type of product that you get too. And then the last thing in this package is a set. So I think it was the bath bomb and candle set. I'm terrible. I, I didn't. I did not prepare at all for this video. <laughs> I'm just opening packages because, like I said, my room is still under construction, and a lot. And the least amount of boxes I have in my room, the better. So I need to start breaking down these boxes. So yeah, they wrap. They wrap their stuff really well. Okay, okay, okay. So it was... Okay, now I kind of remember. I don't remember the name of it. But... There. So yeah, so this is actually the set. I didn't realize they separated them. That's why I, I couldn't recognize it. So this is their new um, pumpkin candle. I forgot the name of the set. But... So for freaking jewels, they usually don't have specially shaped um, candles. Because I, I, another company is really known for like their can, like the shape of their candle holders. So I was really excited to invest in this one because it's a pumpkin and it's so cute. And I don't know what it smells like. Maybe it does smell like pumpkin spice. I don't know. Pumpkin-y? Harvest-y? I don't know. But it's super cute. So they don't really come out with specially shaped candles. It's been just most recently like for their pet ones. They had one that was... Okay. I think I can reach it. Okay. So they had ones that look like dogs, they had one that looked like cat, and it's really simplified, but it's super cute. So I'm glad that they're branching out to having candle jars that are shaped into the objects that they're supposed to represent. So I bought this one because one, I needed it, two, it's super cute, um, and three, it's, it's just cute. <laughs> So yeah, so those are all the products that I have um, from this unboxing. I'm sorry it's been a little bit too long or I'm, I started rambling because, like, I don't know. It, it was just, like, spontaneous opening this box. So if you like this video, make sure that you click the like button. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of other videos that are more cohesive, especially when it comes to my mystery boxes for Funko Pops that I've gotten from different companies. I'm still trying them out, but I have a good wrap around in my head of which companies I'm going to just definitely invest in for the long run. And I also do unboxings of toy mystery packs and all that stuff. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye!